Hey everyone and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and I am your host for another video. So in today's video we are talking uh, about Todoist in 2018. Now I did a video last week or the week before that all about Evernote in 2018 sharing a few of my predictions in terms of features, design and things like that. Naturally all of these are speculation and are just based on sort of my gut feeling or opinion and naturally not based off a great deal of stuff apart from competitors actions and things like that. So obviously this is all predictions but hopefully it will give you an insight into what potentially might be coming in 2018. So as we all know, Todoist is one of the leading Todoist applications and probably one that is most used here on the YouTube channel and in the community. I know a lot of you guys actively in the comments are users of either Todoist or TickTick and actively use it as a way to uh, manage your daily tasks and manage multiple projects and things like that. So I think it'll be useful and I think you'll enjoy today's feature. So just before we get started, make sure to join the Skillshare class. We have over 200 students over there. You can join free in the description below for two months. If you can't get access via that, you already have a Skillshare premium account. Uh, or you have a skill, you, you've run out of your premium. Just let me know uh, on the email, francesco at keepproductive.com and I'll happily provide you with a free access link. Anyway, promotion over. Let's dive into the video. So as a big user of Todoist, I like to keep an eye on the sort of trends, the sort of movement of the application and just a general look at the competitors and what is coming in the next year. Now, I always do this. I think I've done this two or three years in a row and I actually mentioned a lot of my uh, sort of predictions in the to -do it, the Todoist apps for 2018 video, which I'll link up here. But today I'm gonna to go into more detail. So I'm gonna break this into two sections. It's gonna be design and features. I'm gonna first talk, gonna first talk a little bit about the design and what I think is gonna happen there and then the sort of functions and features that Todoist has. So my first sort of prediction is a Kanban layout. Uh, obviously I think this falls under design. Uh, the design of Todoist is naturally a list experience, which is great. Kanban has become a very useful way. And I think a lot of people that are looking at like the likes of Trello and things like that are like, I'm not sure about Todoist because of the list view. So I think that I think that Todoist will jump on the Kanban bandwagon as a viewing option inside of Todoist. Now I think this is very interesting because they actually had a Windows app uh, called Boards by Todoist that they actually almost trialed this with. So if we're going to look at something that almost looks like if this Kanban feature came to it, it would probably be, be that. So my next uh, design mention is a full redesign of the iOS, Mac, Android and Windows applications to reflect a slightly improved design. Now I've noticed recently they've updated a lot of the smaller elements of Todoist, the likes of the inbox zero function and things like that. Just this looks a little crisper and some of the, old, some of the font and the iOS application I've noticed has been a little bit slower in terms of transition to that. And I think that they're either pausing this or slowly fixing these, or they're going to do a full redesign very soon. I think that obviously a full redesign would just make sense in terms of like refixing or rejigging everyone's sort of interest in Todoist, and it would help them release a few more features, which we'll talk about in a bit. The next sort of design element I think that is going to happen is an introduction of a templates manager. I think that uh, naturally this is sort of like a feature, but templates are a really important part of the structure of Todoist. When you're organizing your own projects and certain items like that, uh, you know, importing and exporting templates can be pretty tedious. And I think in 2018, template management will be something that will be even more attractive. I think that the likes of Evernote have it, but the actual curation and sharing of this and implementation inside of projects will be something that we need to keep an eye on. So uh, in terms of features, I think that the first feature that will, they will roll out will be a calendar slash upcoming section. I think this works extremely well inside the likes of TickTick and Things 3. I think both of those experiences have good upcoming or calendar elements to them and I think Todoist will add something like this. Obviously maybe adding it with the Kanban experience might 
and confuse a current or existing uh, user, but I think a calendar feature will be introduced uh, and provide you with a way to see all of your upcoming tasks and events at associated to, associated to, uh, associating it to events in your calendar uh, that you currently have. I that will be quite an exciting feature to have. So moving on to the sort of task side of the features, I think that there will be a start and duration function added. I think that nestled inside of a task, you'll have this ability. I don't think it will affect the basic use of Todoist. I think that if you wanna find it and use it, you can and you will be able to. And I think that the addition, the addition or the introduction of a start date will actually be quite exciting for those GTD slash uh, intense or advanced pr productivity users. I think the duration will have a nice uh, introduction with that. I've noticed there's always some big gap between there, uh, between it, like the writing of a task and sort of the information around the task in terms of due date and things like that. I think that having like uh, a duration of a task uh, would save a lot of stress with labels and things like that for people. So that can be something I think they implement. I think in 2018 also they will introduce a new notes and comments element. I think that this is something that uh, the likes of, I did, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I think twists, the commenting abilities and the ability to bring an idea together fantastic i think the the whole design around that's brilliant and i think they will take some sort of note ability inside of a inside of a task so my best sort of comparison is when i was looking at swipes workspace i think they'll add a note taking ability embedded into the existing comments it's going to be quite a weird element but i think let's say you have a task let's say you've added the comments to the task, there's gonna be ability to add a note. Once you enter the note, you've entered a different part, a different panel, where you can add all those details, save them, come out of that, and actually see all of the information to it. I think this will provide more intent, this will provide more context for people who are working on projects, and allow users to go a bit more in detail with Todoist, saving them time switching between Todoist and Evernote. But again, I think that might be in the later part of 2018. So guys, I hoped that you enjoyed a couple of those recommendations. I'm gonna put them in the description below as well as the sources that I did mention. Uh, but I hope you do enjoy them. I hope they give you some sort of uh, insight into what I think is gonna happen. As I mentioned, totally my honest opinion. I've been so wrong in the past. Uh, just something I'm speculating on as we grow and learn about to do this application. So guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed Todoist in 2017. It was the winner of the best to do this application in our award ceremony, so congratulations. Uh, I will include as well in description below my full, I think I've done over 60 or 70 videos on Todoist. The playlist will be available in the description below so you can go and find that. Uh, and I will be doing very, very soon a full Go Skills course on Todoist. So do stay tuned for that. Keep an eye on the updates or the favorites videos that I do because you'll have all of the information on that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit subscribe and the bell notification for regular videos. It'd be amazing to have you in the Keep Productive community. But for now, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.